that one Aussie guy is so excited about the latest smartphone that he's had a microchip implanted in his hand, which he hopes will work with the iPhone 6. Is this the freaky future of technology? When you embrace technology before the rest of the world, you're called an early adopter. But when you get technology implanted under your skin, the phrase is freaky robot guy. But Ben Sledder isn't just any freaky robot guy. He's trying to have a conversation about technology. Trouble is, he's doing it by inserting things into his body. It's got some limited, some very limited practical applications, but I suppose it's more for show and it's, it's more of a talking point. Using current technology, Ben's chip can operate doors and light switches and hypothetically unlock and start his car. But his real hope is it'll work with the iPhone 6, which hasn't been released yet. That's generally how these things work. Someone uh, pushes the boundaries, someone tries something weird. It seems really weird at the time, but then the mainstream picks up on it and starts actually adopting it. There's plenty of hype over the iPhone 6. Just the confirmation that Apple would be unveiling something sent share prices to an all-time high. But lining up is one thing, turning into a cyborg is another. I mean, I think my iPhone's pretty nifty, but you won't catch me injecting it into my flesh. The possible risks of implanted technology include infection and rejection. Plus, there's the part where, ow, the sharpness, it hurts me. This guy's basically making a lifetime gamble. The iPhone 6 will probably have this technology, but I'm really hoping for his sake it does. So I guess it all just depends on what Apple ends up releasing. Either Ben Slater will look like a genius or just some guy who has a foreign object lodged inside him. <laughs> oh, I've got nothing. Best with that. Do you know where he went to get it done? A tattoo parlour. That's where you go if you want your chip lodged in your hand. Wait a minute. Yeah. What, they just have him lying around? Well, I don't so know. Is it a new service they offer? But, he, but is it true? You're saying off, off air that he's not even sure that this technology is going to be compatible with the iPhone no, 6. No, it's, it's, he's predicting. You know, I think the battery life in that will last longer than it will in the phone. <laughs> so that's got to sync up. But, yeah, it's all fingers crossed for him. If he could cross his if fingers anymore, but I don't think he can. <laughs> if you think about it, I mean, it's pretty gross. I mean, women get, like, implant on, I think it is, to stop getting pregnant and stuff, and you insert that inside your skin. I mean, you're just inserting something in that's, you know... Well, I think with that, he won't be meeting any women, to no. be honest. <laughs> so, uh, that's no, probably, I reckon he could be same. onto something. Yeah. I think the problem is, every time he uh, goes to scratch his ear, it'll go... <laughs> be very annoying, very annoying. We're going to take another break. We'll be back in a moment. I'll, I'll get it.